Okay, so today I am cleaning a vintage coach crossbody bag. I'm going to be using saddle soap, brasso, and Lexol conditioner, along with a um, horse hair brush I got off of Amazon, and some wooden stick Q-tips. So the first thing I did was I cleaned the hardware with brasso. Um, I'm not sure if this is the order you're supposed to do it in, but I did it anyway. Uh, make sure you shake that brasso up in its uh, creamy, like lotiony texture. I cleaned the turn lock handle thing that my client, I mean, you know, my sister, she <laughs> said that it was, it left like a grody, like residue on her fingers. So she never actually used the purse. So I thought Brasso would do the job and clean it all up, which it did. It came out really well after using it to get into all the crevices and just scrub, scrub, scrub with that little Q-tip. And it's a beautiful, like brassy golden color. Now I'm cleaning the other little um, mechanism of the turn lock. And just wiping it off um, to make sure that there's none on the leather. See my little helper's hands over there. <laughs> and I'm taking off the straps, which I should have done in the first place, and taking off the coach tab as well, so I can get to that later. And my little helper is going to, um, she's putting Brasso on the, the hardware on the strap for me. I'm taking some Brasso to the D-ring things. And you don't need a lot. Um, I use the Q-tip first and then I go over it with a towel after. Just to really get it in there. Just wipe it off with the towel. Next I'm getting all the excess Brasso off the hardware here. And you could kind of tell the difference. It looked a little bit better in person. The right is the clean one, the left is the unbrassoed one. Next I'm going to lather this up. This is the saddle soap with a little bit of water on it. And you're just going to scrub the purse. I should have used a little bit more water to make it more sudsy and so it doesn't get I noticed that um, I left it a little bit too dry so there's a little residue left on the threads afterwards I think if it was more lathered up it wouldn't have done that and still I should have added more water because it's not as sudsy as I've seen other people who clean bags have it Next, I'm using a damp cloth to wipe off the saddle soap. If you leave saddle soap, supposedly it dries out the leather. So you wanna make sure you get off all the excess with a damp cloth. So next, you got the conditioner. Just put it on there and just wipe it. Um, I've seen people use their hands to wipe it, so I thought I'd do that too. Just to really, they say it really helps to get into all the crevices that way versus using like a towel. So I just did that and then I realized I put way too much. So I'm trying to spread it across the bag. There's a lot of, I don't know if that's dirt or dye on that towel, but um, after wiping it, after cleaning it, it, the towel is really, really dirty. But it didn't look like it took off any of the dye of the bag.
it looks really shiny, but I think it could use another another conditioning. So just gotta let it dry for a few hours, or in this case, I'll let it dry for a few days before I went back to it. So now I'm conditioning the leather strap. I just put some on a microfiber towel and I just, just wiped it along. Now the leather tab on the coach bag was in fairly good condition. I've seen people's vintage tabs that they split all the way. If it splits anymore, I'll get some leather glue and glue that down. I don't have any on hand with me right now, so I just left it as is. I'm um, just let her know that if it does start, if she notices it does start splitting more, then we'll go out and get some leather glue and fix that right up. I'm cleaning the chain and this chain was really dark as you can see it it's really dark and the brow so it just makes it nice and golden brassy makes it nice and clean again you can start to see I'm just rubbing it in trying to get all the little bits and pieces of it I think doing it with the towel versus like a q-tip was a lot better so this is a few days later, um, I came back to just put everything back and put everything together um, to get it ready for the delivery of the item to my sister. And the last thing I did was just, um, I used a lighter and I burned off the edges of some threads that were sticking out. And you, you don't need to get actually on the thread. If you get close enough, it'll take care of it. Um, just be careful not to burn the leather. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.